Welcome once again to Creepy Cheapies with Dr. Lady. Time for another look at one of the best uh, affordably priced Halloween masks on the market. I'm Reese Witherspoon. Uh, sorry, I'm Reese Without Her Spoon. And tonight's mask came out in time for Halloween of 2014. And it's none other than this ghastly creation from Evil Dead 2, a movie that came out in 1987, this particular monster, as seen in Evil Dead 2, that's right, it's Pee-Wee. Pee-Wee. Uh, now, now, when I refer to it as Pee-Wee, I don't want to uh, give anyone the impression that in the context of the film, this is called Pee-Wee, because there are no points in the movie at which anyone says anything like, help, help, here comes Pee-Wee. Uh, or please save me, Pee-wee is after me. Nobody says anything like that. It's just sort of a name, sort of a nickname given to this particular monster. It's, it's, it's along the lines of Bruce the Shark. You know, Bruce the Shark from Jaws, everyone called the shark Bruce. Well, it isn't as if, uh, uh, you know, the Mr. and Mrs. Shark had a baby and named it Bruce. It's just sort of a, it's, it's, a, it's an affectionate nickname. It's a pet name, that's what it is. And Pee-wee, as seen in Evil Dead 2, uh, became a collectible mask in 2014 thanks to the folks at Trick or Treat Studios who had it sculpted by a human called Pete Infeliz. And when I say Pete Infeliz, Infeliz is all one word. See, it's not, not like uh, Pete in Feliz, North Dakota. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Pete Infeliz. See, Infeliz is all one word. Pete Infeliz, who sculpted the Pee Wee Monster. And uh, I always thought this was a great image it's it's so uh it's so sledgehammer wacky as monsters go and it's very striking and startling and and very effective as presented uh, in the movie but in addition to being horrible and scary and evil looking and all that definite sense of humor here definitely a, a cartoony kind of monster um this has does have a slit up the back as you can see but but the the, uh, the plan is when you're wearing it, people won't see it from the back because they'll be running away from you. So that's sort of the plan there. Very, very nicely painted. Sells for around 60 bucks. And again, for something in that price range, look how nice the paintwork is on this thing. Look at those creepy, shiny eyeballs. And by the way, in the film, uh, Pee Wee's uh, neck gets stepped on, causing, uh, causing one of the eyeballs to pop out and fly across the room on a painfully obvious wire and fly into someone's mouth. So it's a tasteful moment. But um, Pee-wee here, I think, should have been a mask, uh, you know, all these years. I don't know why this took until 2014 to come along, but it, but it did. For a licensed mask of the Pee-wee monster from Evil Dead 2. Highly recommended, again, around 60 bucks. Got a nice neck on here, nice paint job. Uh, good, good, creepy, ghoulish, disgusting look to it. So, uh, good job, uh, Trick or Treat. Good job with Pee Wee. I wonder if there's, I wonder if there's gonna be a Pee Wee Herman mask. Do you think? Nah, probably just Pee Wee. 